we are constantly surprised by SpaceX. This time, it successfully overcame all obstacles to test Ship 24 and Booster 7. The mission was successful, which is wonderful news. What makes the Falcon 9 launch so unique? Join us to learn more about SpaceX's ludicrous impending orbital launch as we, the next satellite, revolutionize the space business. Welcome back to another exciting video from Informative Scoop. Today's video is about SpaceX did a big test on Booster 7 and Ship 24 ready for orbit launch. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. Elon Musk's commitment. The innovations in the space sector have faced many challenges and setbacks. To complete a mission successfully, countless unsuccessful attempts must be made. Only in large groups of people can this enthusiasm and zeal be displayed. Or, needless to add, those who are determined. One of them is Elon Musk. He enjoys taking chances and accomplishing new feats, whether as groundbreaking as a Tesla motor or as astounding as Tesla's acquisition. He never fails to astound us. His company SpaceX performed a great operation this time. It indicates that the entire world would soon see a magnificent orbital launch. The 3rd of November will go down in the annals of space history as a memorable day. Just now, SpaceX landed a rocket on the ship while putting a communications satellite into space. Less than 9 minutes later, Falcon 9's first stage made it to Earth. Furthermore, it landed just as intended. However, this first stage landing was trickier than it appeared. It has a considerable amount of base. This launch marks the seventh attempt that ultimately succeeded, a spectacular Falcon 9 launch. A fantastic Falcon 9 launch from SpaceX just occurred. Even though SpaceX has launched unusual objects before, do you recall when the Starship stack was created for the first time in six months? After several unsuccessful attempts to make the procedure successful, that event was also successful. To make that possible, the diligent artisans made numerous adjustments. To protect the booster during landing, they fitted bumper pads. There is a full timetable that leads to a successful launch, and the cycle is repeated in this orbital launch too. It did not just happen in a moment. Before the first stage's creators debuted, several things were already in the air. Turk set 5B, CRS-22, Crew-3, and CRS-25. As part of their astronaut mission to international space, they launched Crews-3 and 4. The CRS-22 and 25 made the hot bird 13G fly on top of the Falcon 9 just 36 minutes after the lift dot even though they were short cargo trips to the orbiting lab. This special Hotbird 13G and the France-based business telecom operated thanks to the IBU defense in space. They soon announced that this satellite would easily establish itself in the geostationary orbit. It would be approximately 22,300 miles above Earth. The vision continues after this. More is involved if you want the most recent information on the extensive ship tests. 24. Keep an eye out for the hot bird. Not 13G is alone. Hot Bird 13 Fahrenheit, one of its twin spacecraft, will join Hot Bird 13G 22,300 miles above the planet. As they take the position of the three current satellites, these two spacecraft will undergo significant alteration. This Hot Bird satellite aims to create one of Europe's biggest broadcasting networks. A thousand channels will be offered, and 160 million TV homes worldwide will receive it. The emergence of the Hot Bird is the second launch by SpaceX from Florida's space coast. 3G is one of the essential pieces of hardware. Elon Musk then launched yet another space mission after this brilliant idea. His business carried out the USS F-44 mission launch for the U.S. Space Force. It took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The superb Falcon 9 and the USS F-4 quickly made it famous. This was the mission's fourth try, since June 2019. When this mission first began and has been ongoing for years, it has been widely publicized online, notably in the timelines of space enthusiasts. People and organizations developed their points of view due to these ongoing conflicts. Among them, the Rocket Lab was a key player in this mission's standpoints of Rocket Lab during the launch. The Rocket Lab made a unique set of forecasts. It was discovered that the business is getting ready to try a second mid-air recovery, this time using an electron booster. It will happen when a Swedish scientific satellite lifts off. The lab also said they intend to give the next electron mission a distinctive moniker before launching it. Grab me while you can. The second attempt to retrieve the electrons will be made by this mission, which will be launched in New Zealand. In the initial stage, the Electron will use a helicopter to descend beneath a parachute. The pilot released the parachute after the hook held it to the plane during the initial attempt. After noticing that the manufacturer had called for different load characteristics than we had observed during testing, he released it. Still, the stage splashed down, and a boat quickly rescued her. Peter Beck, the president and CEO of Rocket Lab, stated that the organization aims to conduct more training on helicopter recovery months after the launch. The business must, right now, concentrate on modifications to the rocket and its recovery system. The corporation itself approved that neither the vehicle nor any recovery systems have undergone any alterations. The chief executive of Rocket Lab stated that perfecting the processes is the company's only priority. They now place the highest priority on it. The operations involved are the second thing that worries them the most. A few months prior, this attempt at recovery was not novel to the world. 
he suggested that the corporation would soon make another recovery effort, possibly on its 21st investor day. The initial launch notice was then quickly distributed. What kind of rehab effort was it? Why all the excitement about it? An effort at recovery. The CEO disclosed yet another recovery effort. The business wants to reuse everything, from the payloads to the retrieval plans, after the propellant landing is complete. Reusing the booster was the main goal of the strategy by Rocket Lab. They believed the SpaceX Falcon 9 was too large for a tiny rocket. When they delivered the final presentation on the investor's day, they reasoned that capturing the booster before the splashdown would prevent all the problems with the seawater intrusion. He disclosed that they had been attempting to retrieve the electron for some time. Additionally, it has greatly aided the company as it has grown, because it features a medium-class reusable launcher that can execute propulsive landing. The neutron plays a crucial role. Beck further stated that if they had not completed this project, they would not have been able to complete this nuclear mission with the same speed and certainty. Through this undertaking, they gain valuable knowledge about re-entering the electrons and going through the reusability process. The outcome of this enormous effort would have been different if they had plunged right into the neutron project without first learning from the results of the earlier missions. With these recent advances, the outcomes would have turned out differently than they do now. The future satellite would differ greatly from the others. Future satellite is everything. A single satellite known as Madding would be included in the forthcoming satellite. Mesospheric Airglow Aerosol Tomography Spectroscopic is the abbreviation for MATS. The OHB created the satellite as a work of art with funding from the Swedish National Space Agency. To further assist, the AAC Clyde Space Program manufactured several satellite components. The process mats were designed to launch as a ride share aboard the Soyuz rocket, but the Swedish quickly abandoned these ambitions. Because Russia invaded Ukraine, it took place. The weight of this spacecraft was roughly 50 kilograms. Additionally, the builders intended for it to be placed into a dawn-dusk sun synchronous orbit at a height of about 585 kilometers. This device was quickly released into orbit in response to China's covert preparations for reusable spacecraft. The second launch of China's reusable experimental spacecraft from Jinya in the Gobai Desert came after that. The spacecraft has been there for 90 days. It's two weeks ago. The spacecraft raised its perigord the point during the orbit. The orbit that changed to a 597 by 608 kilometer orbit was the one that was closest to the period. Speaking about recent events, the US Space Force has been tracking an item near the spacecraft. It made Spacetrack.org a new entry to the database for an object in a similar orbit. The nature of the item still needs to be determined, and it is unlikely ever to be found close to the spaceship. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.